Okay, let's give you guys another example. So in this video, we're going to look at a case where it's infinity take away infinity. In some of the early videos, we, we looked at zero times infinity. Well, to, to evaluate zero times infinity, we would turn it into a fraction. So either zero over zero or infinity over infinity. Well, for us to evaluate infinity take away infinity, we would turn this into either uh, uh, well, either 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity. So in this video, we're going to look at this scenario where we have zero, um, where we have infinity take away infinity. So, so let's try and evaluate the limit of this as um, as x tends to zero from the right hand side, from the right hand side. So if if you look at this here, uh, sine sine of x looks like this. Well, your approach x is approaching 0 from the right hand side so from the right hand side you're approaching 0 and you're coming in from the positive direction you're coming in uh, you see this is positive and, and down here is negative um, you're, you're coming in so, so, so this number here would be a positive very very small so it's, it's, it's a bit similar to this positive 0 point I don't know something like this so this number here will be positively big the point is that as x approaches 0 from the right hand side, this thing here will be positive infinity. And then, uh, and then you take away, you take away, now remember cot of x, uh, cotangent of x looks like this. Cotangent of x, cotangent of x looks like this. So as you're approaching 0 from the right hand side, you are heading towards, you are heading towards positive infinity. So looking back at this, as as um, as as x tends towards zero from the right hand side, this thing here will head towards positive infinity. So here you've got a case where it's infinity take away infinity. So the trick we would use is to turn to turn this whole thing into one fraction. So hang on. So hang on. So um. So let me think. Uh, okay. So here we yeah. The, the, here, looking at this, you've got infinity, infinity, take away infinity. So the trick we would use is, uh, is to turn this into one fraction. So visualize this block as, um, as cosine. Re, re, remember, tan is, uh, so this here is sine theta. Uh, this is cos theta. Tan would be sine over cos. Well, cotangent would be cos, would be the other way around. So it would be cos over sine. So uh, so visualize uh, cotangent as this. So now same denominator, same denominator, so we can just merge the two. That will then give us this. So now looking at this, looking at this, you've got um looking at this as x approaches zero from, from the right hand side, um this thing here, well this thing here will be this thing here will be one. So one take away one will be zero. And then, uh, and then, si uh, remember, sine looks like this. As you're approaching x from the right hand side, you are heading towards zero. So we've got a case where it's zero over zero. Now we can apply L'Hopital's rule. So L'Hopital's rule would be to differentiate this. That would then give you this. And then uh, differentiate this. That would then give you this. So now you evaluate the limit again. So uh, as x tends to zero from the from the right hand side, this thing here will be zero, and this thing here will be one. So nothing breaks down. Zero divided by one is per, uh, is a perfectly legitimate number. It doesn't break down. So uh, so the limit is actually zero because zero over one is a legitimate answer. Okay.